want to go on a road trip? You want to go see your aunt? Yeah, baby? Okay, we're going to go. Give me a kissy if you want to go. Give me a kissy. Oh, this is good. What's up fam and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well out there. I decided to take you along with us. We decided to hit the road to Las Vegas to our aunt and uncle's house to uh, see them. We haven't seen them in a minute and they also wanted to celebrate Capitan's third birthday even though it was last weekend. They have a pool and it's just really quiet and relaxing there so we thought oh, why not let's go and enjoy some time over there. We typically are never in Las Vegas during the summertime. We are just extremely busy with work. So it is rare for us to be out here in the summertime. We are always out in the winter when the pool is extremely cold. So um, we totally took full advantage of this and so did Capitan. I mean, this boy could not get out of the pool. We do not have a pool at my house. If you guys saw my last video with his birthday party, I was using that ridiculous kitty pool, which was so small for him. So obviously him having this nice, beautiful, big pool was so good for him. He swam around like a champ. Capitan was never a big swimmer, but I don't know what got into him. Him turning three, just something came over him and the boy was a swimming pool. So I'm just so proud of him. Maybe also because it was just nice and warm in that pool. I think it was about like 75 degrees, which was perfect. Pretty much our day consists of hanging out by the pool and me tossing the ball back and forth for him. Um, if you have a Rottweiler that is ball crazy like him, this is completely relatable. So I had to hide the ball a few times to get him to relax and chill in the shade because it was so hot. But the guy loves to swim. I, I'm just so proud of him. This, this whole trip was just a blast. Seeing how happy he is swimming, it just really makes me think I need to take him out more to the lagoon this summer. He has been out there before, but he wasn't as confident. I think uh, now that he's three and a big bad swimmer, I think he's going to absolutely love it. I mean, look at him. He, he's smiling from ear to ear. He turned his back towards him. Huh? He just to like totally turned his back towards Dino to ignore him <laughs> and just to stare at you. <laughs> have my back, mom. Have my back. Look at him barking right in his ear. Okay, Dino. You get very excited. Oh, 
It's okay, Dino. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay, buddy. Good boy, can be fed. You hungry, baby? Come here, we'll put you over here. Good boy. Wait. Wait. Okay. Wait. Okay. Good boy. Just wanted to add that I typically do have his bowl in a raised bowl dish. It's just a very big wooden piece. And since I'm not at the house, I wasn't going to bring that travel with that. So I think I'm just going to buy one and keep one there permanently. So the next day consisted of pretty much the same thing, hanging out by the pool and tossing the ball back and forth for Capitan. I do want to say that there is a lot of crazy things going on in the world right now that I'm not even going to go into detail about. I have been mentally drained by it, watching the news, going on social media. I am not trying to avoid the situation because it, it is a very sad situation going on right now. but. For me, as a person that gets very touched by everything, I had to get off social media and get off, you know, watching the news, avoiding all that and just relaxing with my family and friends and talking to them really made me feel a lot better mentally. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Your aunties have a nice steak for you? Huh? 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 Oh. I'm just going to voice over this whole thing because I didn't realize there was background music going on the whole entire time. But yes, my Uncle Mark, Aunt Dana, and Lisa, they all bought steaks, filet mignons for the dinner. Um, I'm a vegetarian, but... You know, Capitan, of course, got a filet mignon as well, and they decided to chop it up and insisted on singing happy birthday. It is also Amanda, my cousin's birthday. She is 21 as well, so it is going to be a big old celebration. I gotta be gentle, gentle, okay. buddy. Mm. We'll just take this in and we can eat. Yeah. Good boy, buddy. Yeah. Good boy. <laughs> As if having a steak wasn't enough, uh, he also got some bougie rawhides from his aunt. So you can tell that this guy is just so spoiled over there.
this was our last day there so we just took in the sun and had a nice lunch and enjoyed some quality time with our family before having to pack up and head back to california So if you guys have seen my videos before, you have seen this guy. This is Dino. He is a 14 year old Tibetan Spaniel. He has been my aunt and uncle's pride and joy. Also a big boss boy to Capitan. He has, you know, always told Capitan that he is the boss man. And uh, he even decided to take that bone out of Capitan's mouth. And he was carrying around this bone pretty much for like 30 minutes. The fact that Dino can take this bone out of Capitan's mouth and him not having an issue makes me so happy and just goes to show that these Rottweilers are not aggressive. But I do wanna say that Dino, he's an old guy and I could definitely see it in him. You can see his tail dragging. The guy is in some pain and my aunt knows it. He is 14. We left the night before she said he was screaming crying in his sleep he is very uncomfortable so by the time i have this video out tina will be in doggy heaven he has lived an amazing life but my aunt never wants to see him suffer so this was the best decision for him this video will be dedicated to dino we love you so much I definitely do not want to end this video on a sad note. I want to say that I am so blessed to have Capitan. And you know, the other day I read this quote saying, they don't live as long as we do. So embrace every moment you have with them. Don't leave them at home all the time. Don't get mad at them for doing something stupid. They're only a dog. They love you till the end. So give them the love and respect they need. I know most of you guys out there already know that, but Give them the love that they deserve because you never know when that time might happen. Thank you guys again for always checking out my videos. Me and Capitan love you guys so much. We hope you guys are all staying safe out there and we will see you in the next video. Bye.